In this video we'll be showing that there is no distortion damage to the carpet backing. These bubbles are the result of the carpet stretching directly in front of the feet. You'll notice that the bubbles are only behind the feet and not formed in a ridge that runs all the way across the back of the stretcher. This visually proves that the carpet is moving forward between the feet, moving up underneath the stretcher towards the wall. The bubbles relax after the stretch and flatten out following Hook's Law of Elasticity. We're stretching on the back of the carpet here to show that there's no lasting distortion to the carpet. You can see the bubbles that show the carpet is under stretch. And we left the stretcher in the stretched position for 10 minutes on this test. This is being done on a carpet that is not acclimated, it's in a 50 degree room. Now notice that there's no lasting distortion to the backing and all the rows are running straight. Now obviously carpet isn't made to be stretched from the back like this, but this does show that there is no lasting damage done by the Triforce, even in a cold room on cold carpet. This test is done in the warm office on 75 degree carpet, well within insulation standards. The test carpet remained under stretch for five minutes. The excessive time limit under stretch is done to show that if there's no damage or distortion after this amount of time, then there certainly isn't going to be any damage on an install where the stretch lasts less than 30 seconds each. The impressions left in the face fiber brush right out. The type of carpet doesn't seem to matter much. Heavier carpets just require a little bit more down pressure on the stretcher. You'll notice the impressions from the feet here, but they're gone in moments due to the elasticity of the action back doing exactly what it's designed to do. Now you can see there's hardly any indication of the stretch and it will continue to relax and return to its normal mass. Again from this angle you'll see that there is no distortion at all from the stretcher. This test shows the absence of distortion for pattern match carpets and loop pile burbers. We laid the blue lines in using string lines, since we couldn't find our laser, in order to get a straight box design that would show any distortion. Mario will be using the standard stretch method with the Triforce, which is stretch the length first and then stretch the width. We've cut down the actual film time in order to speed this test along. I'm 
mentioned earlier in the video about Hooke's Law, and Hooke's Law is one of the principles of physics that makes the Triforce so efficient. In 1660, Robert Hooke discovered the principles of elasticity, basically that a stretchable object will return to its original mass once the opposing force is removed. And that's exactly how carpet responds with the action back on it. It's designed to stretch out and pull back against those pins. Any distortion will be easily seen in the long straight lines. The thermostat shows that we're at 50 degrees here on the test floor. A good carpet installer, of course, wouldn't be installing cold carpet in a cold room, but we're doing this to illustrate not only the power of the Triforce on cold, stiff carpet, but also to show that even on cold carpet, there's no lasting distortion. It'll take a little longer for the carpet to relax, of course, but there is no damage or permanent distortion of any kind. Here you'll see the lines are all lined up nice and straight, lengthwise and crossways. There's no distortion to this at all. Here's one we did just kind of for fun. Uh, this is an old Berber that we've had on the rack for quite a while. It's been stretched well over 200 times. It's got roll crush issues as you can see in the video. Uh, but we wanted to do a pattern test on this as well just to show that even on old carpets out in the field, that need re-stretched and repair, you can do it very efficiently and easily with the Triforce. The Triforce is a great tool for re-stretches and installs on Loop Berber especially because it gives an even stretch and will make the row patterns nice and straight. The lines here are nice and straight, not distorted or moved in one direction or the other, and this is even an old beat up carpet. 